everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to try to fly uh, out towards a friend's grass strip and get some performance numbers. I've had a lot of you asking questions and um, I just want to go fly so I might as well do that. Clear. Quick disclaimer for those of you that don't want to stick around to watch all of the um, performance numbers, things about the STC and the new engine, um, there's a lot of flying in this video, it's just at the end. So if you get tired of hearing me talk, you can skip ahead to the flying part and there's a lot of videos. You can hear this prop, which sounds pretty good, and uh, I'm trying to fly, you know, and get good takeoff and landing uh, numbers for the video. So there's plenty of that, it's just a little further in the video. Okay, so I've talked about takeoff performance and cruise performance. One more thing I wanted to mention is just the fact that this STC comes with so many things. Uh, a lot of people throw it out, but yes, it's a little more expensive and the big things are because of a brand new engine, a brand new propeller, but it converts it to a electric start. If you had the old mechanical push button start, there's a new ACS style switch. Uh, SkyTech lightweight starter, lightweight alternator, new magnetos, new f air filter, new fuel pump. Um, everything is new, so you should have very low uh, expenses in your annual inspections for the next however many years, because everything's new. Um, and it looks good, and it's not leaking oil everywhere. My engine, my everything firewall forward was so old and so beat up. So that's just huge. Um, the exhaust system is brand new. The muffler has a great sound to it and also the heat works really well. So a lot of these things have been thought out um, and a lot of time has gone into it and this technology really helps you, um, you know, in every aspect of flying, not just horsepower and short takeoffs. And all of the engine analyzer is integrated into everything so you get all the sensors and all the uh, indication that you didn't, I didn't have before. I didn't have any of that. So going to fuel injection, you lose the primer and the carb heat and you just have a switch for your electric fuel pump. So these are just some things to consider. 
um, for some people. I've had a lot of people asking me different questions about this conversion, considering doing it themselves. Um, and that's just my two cents on most of that. So yeah, let's go fly.